Yo, morning. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to go about installing a new cooker circuit. Now, this is a range cooker with steam function, so it needs a 10 mil supply. Most common houses only have a 6 mil uh, supply, but this is now a 10. Now we're going to upgrade it all. So let's jump into the loft and show you the wonders that is in there. If you are new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Link is in the corner. Do me an absolute solid. So let's get some kit in and uh, yeah, jump in the loft. The screw gun up, Link. Uh, I'll have the drum running. Okay. These rubbish drums, aren't they? <laughs> uh, do you know uh, I think we're good. I think you got, yeah, they've got two hammers. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Right, so me and Lou are in the, in the loft. Um, so the plan is, so Lou's just, just sorting out. So we're really fortunate in some ways that there's plenty of board in, in here. Um, but the wiring is really, really sketchy in here. So we're putting a new um, circuit here. Likely it is we're going to end up rewiring this house. But for now, we need to make sure that the new circuit is all good. Not going to hinder. So you see the timber that's above me all at the back there. We're going to clip all the way along. Because where Lou is, just down there is where the consumer unit is. So we're going to go back to that. It's a split load board. I'll show you that in, in a moment. We're going to clip it all the way along. It's going to come down there. So all the way down, down to that top there, drop it down. It's then, it's then gonna come along here, behind these, down here, and then we're gonna go down to that end because I only thought originally I could get to this point because it was just photo sent to me, but I can actually get all the way down there, down through the soffit, and then we're in armored out because effectively this bit here is the actual kitchen itself. And I've got the pitch roofed and all the rest of it. But quite lucky in the fact that I've got Lou with me today because that makes life a huge, huge difference in fairness. Uh, getting this sorted because we are under the cosh. But I'm going to quickly show you some of the slight issues that we've got. So look at this beauty. So we've got bits like this all over. Um, this is your, your current installation that we've got. Um, and then that's just without glancing too far. Um, and then we've got all this along here in amongst heating pipes and all the rest of it. So it's an absolute mess. We've got single insulated cables there. That's There's no earthing in the lights. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a mess, but right. Let's get this cable tacked up onto here. Okay, so we're just coming to loosely run round the cable um, and I've just come to move these and this is what you're up against, stuff like this. So just said to Lou, just be really, really careful because that is live um, and as you can clearly see, we've got exposed conductors and all sorts of stuff going on in amongst you know, a shelving unit. So really, really sketchy. So hidden dangers, be careful. Okay, so we have now drilled out the hole for the armoured cable. We've just run the cable tongue up. I find that because it naturally bends that way. So Lou's just been in the loft and saw, so he knows where that is. So the plan is that's going to come down here, all the way along, and then the unit is effectively, that's the unit there, and it's going to be going inside inside the unit around about here somewhere. Probably the best way of doing it. Now, originally when I first came to quote, because I saw some photos, I hadn't jumped in the loft properly. I actually thought we were gonna pop that up there. So if you saw the GHC weekly, you would have seen me mention that and I'm back here now today, sorting that out. Um, but would it mean doing it this way, it means that we haven't got as much armored all the way running down the side of the house. We've only got a little bit on the back of the house. We've now got it on the side of the house, if that makes any sense. So. Right, let's get to the van and get the massive drum of 10 mil out. He's bored, isn't he, naughty boy? So I've got this massive drum of 10 mil three core. Now, she's weighty. Um, I just ended up with this, so it is what it is. So we're gonna get this in, and like what Lou said, it was being sensible, and he says, why don't we do the terminations in the loft further back, because that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna struggle now getting this out, although, size of this guy it'd be fine <laughs> okay so we've got the armored out of the van it's down Lou is at the other end now we've got to go down 
Lou is just trying to feed up. So we've decided we're going to try it first hand, getting the armoured all the way through. But I'm going to have to crawl through that lot and try and get down there as far as I can. So wish me luck. A lot of spiders webs loose. Jesus. Uh, yeah, come back. Oh my god, I am absolutely covered in cobwebs as you can see, look at that. Oh, minging, Lou hates spiders as well. So, the wiring down there is so sketchy. Ooh. That is grim, absolutely grim. So, oh man, hang on. Ugh. Ugh. Right, disgusting. Right, so the wiring is so sketchy down there. I'm going to take some photos as well and show the client. Um, I've got to be really careful what I'm doing down that end um, because it's not good. So what was essentially is happening, as the cable's coming up, because obviously the armoured is very stiff, it's going straight up and then going into the sarking felt, which is this stuff above my head. Um, so what I need to do is get the rod on it now and sort of pull it and aim it to so sort of guide it. So as Lou pushes... I'm going to be sort of guiding it through, um, but yeah, that is not good. Okay, so if you can see down there, there is a wall plate. You see where that old downlight hole's been cut out and thrown, you know, back in there? Because why wouldn't you? So you can see the armoured, the new armoured all running through. So we're going to secure that to that wall plate, come all the way down here. And then I think what we're going to do then is just put our box around about this area here, because I think that'll be neater. It's all accessible then, uh, and then we can... Obviously, the twin and earth will run round to, to here. Joints made here, nice and clear and accessible for everything. So when we rewire it, which is more than likely, um, we've got a nice clear path. Okie dokie, we are now got the armoured up. So the armoured is up and through here. And we've just done the terminations. I don't know why I went a bit cockney then, but here we are. So I've now just got the enclosure up to this point. And then we've just clipped all the way down, down to there. Uh, and Lou has now clipped all the way round. So he tracked across the top and he's now measured all the way down to go down with the ball. So if you can see where that hole is, just down there. So that hole there is where the consumer unit is literally straight underneath. So he's cut the cable where he needs to. And now I'm going to go outside and get the route sorted for the armoured outside so come on let's go so this is the original board that we've got to work with today this is going to be changed um i like this those features are nice so we've got a split load board with a dual with a single rcd that's protecting this side so we're going to come into here um, this is due to be changed anyway um, so we've got main switch and these are non-protected on the rcd lou's just put the cable tongue up and i think he's tied on you ready lou Oh, he's not ready. I imagine this is going to be quite long. And here she is. Tell me when, mate. That'll do. It's okay. I'm gonna just gonna do up next doors. Okay, so the armoured comes through up here where Lewis is doing it. I don't know why I call you Lewis. Very official, isn't it? Never call him Lewis. Right? Lou, where Lou is doing. So he's just going to bring those down using the spit nailer as actual weapon of choice. He's going to bring that all the way down. Down that line, he has used a level. I know, ladies and gentlemen, he has used a level. Then we're going to run it along, along to the bottom here, coming through. And what I'm doing right now... Hello, doggy, 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 doggy. Look at the doggy, doggy. Um, I've now just popped the door off on the kitchen unit, got that out of the way, and 
I'm now, see I've got a drill hole though through there, so I'm gonna drill all the way through. That gives Lewis a, Lewis again. Don't know what's happening, I never call him Lewis. <laughs> Lou, Lou, Lulu. Gonna give him a reference point to work to. Um, and then that way should be a nice smart job. But it's just starting to rain, which absolutely sucks. So we better get an absolute move on. Okay, so we've drilled through from the outside in. The best way of doing that is using a smaller drill bit first. So we run through with a 10 mil. When you've gone through the first core, run it on the hammered, go so far again. Off you go, Lou. Uh, go through so far with your, into the second course of brickwork and then turn it off hammer and then you'll get a nice neat finish like that. And then we can run it back that way with the size hole you want. Obviously it started raining now and it's not great. The dog's not stupid. He's thinking, oh, I'm going to stay in here, thanks. There's a problem, a massive problem. Um, it doesn't fit. So that does not fit. We're about 10 mil out on the width. So the clients on meetings and stuff in Berlin, so it just needs to be sorted. So what we're gonna do is the end unit there, we're gonna sort of take a bit of a a punt on this because she's going to want that sorted. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring that unit across 15 mil, which I know throws things out, but there's not a lot we can do. So what we're going to now do is Lou's just going to go off and get the oscillator. So we're going to cut that down 15 mil, cut down the side here and try and slide that across. Now, obviously that's going to have to stay in place. So it's going to make sure, well, it's going to make, it's going to make a gap a little bit bigger there. Hopefully we can get it out in one piece. But yeah, that is not good. And it's because of these bits. It's because of these bits here on the, uh, the oven. So, oh well, whatever. We've got to sort it out. So I'm trying to push it over. We are roughly, it's going to be 10, 10 to 15 mil gap we need. Brilliant. Okay, so me and Lou have decided because I couldn't speak to the client, she was on, well, she was in meetings all day, all day. We took it upon ourselves to remove the unit, which we did. Uh, took a bit of a gamble. We moved it over 15 mil to allow for the oven to go in. So oven is now in and it's now wired up. So we've got the isolator at the bottom, just down there. Um, and in fairness, while I was midway doing that, the client finished one of her meetings and she came in and went, oh my God, I'm so glad that you just cracked on and did that and hadn't waited. It has took a lot longer than I thought, which is really annoying. Um, but it's it's part and parcel of the job, isn't it? What are you gonna do, leave it, go and get a chippy, go and get and sort that out? No, we're not gonna do that. So we've now obviously got the outside armor in all done. Uh, Lou has sealed all that. So he's now just putting the shelving unit back in place in the loft. So I've got the plinths and stuff to go back on and then the kitchen bit is all sorted. Now, remember the board? So split load board. What they're now deciding to do is we're now gonna be upgrading the consumer unit anyway, but full test on the house, which 
the client has said to me that she's pretty certain that it's going to need rewiring. I'm like, yeah, do you think? Um, so what we want to do is get this new circuit onto the new board, and also we're going to fit an EV charger as well in to this one. So it kind of makes sense. And so we're, we're going to, it's going to be a work in progress, but it is what it is. So main thing is that we can get all this sorted. So we're going to whack a board on, but that'll be in the next video uh, coming up, sorting that lot out. But yeah, so it's been a bit of an event. So we just got to tidy up now, get this all sorted, bit of tidying up. I have got some EV cable with me, so we might get on with start doing that. Um, but yeah, so essentially we've got the isolator on, like I've said, isolator's on, the cable's back to the board. Um, so we're all ready, ready as far as we can be uh, in sorting that out. But need a bit of a square up first and then let's get these plinths on. And that is how it's done. We have now decided that, because we're trying to get on with everything, and the board is going to be done, the EV charger is going to go there. So we've started running the cable round. So we just got to this stage now. And we're going to get it all the way up, and then it's going to go into that corner, and then back down into the consumer unit. But the really annoying thing is, we've got a little bit of an issue. And uh, <coughs> let's jump into the van let you know what it is and it's nothing to do with all the rubbish that's actually on the dashboard Lewis it's so formal keep calling you Lewis I don't know what's going on it's really weird um, so Lou today supposed to be getting his brand new van and we're really really excited about it aren't we Lou because I yeah. do I love a vehicle and probably I think I'm on my 34th now <laughs> and uh, I get excited about these things so sue me somehow I don't understand how it's happened uh, it ain't happening. So we're going off to where we parked Lou's vans because it was supposed to be swapped over and picked up this morning and it hasn't happened. So bear with me. So last minute, it's actually turned up. Not expecting that. Were you, Lou? No. So we actually said... I thought I was going to be in the dog after tonight. Well, in fairness, we just came up the, the road and um, it, his old little van was not there. How'd you do these? Oh, yeah. Just press the button. Very nice. So, yes, we were not sure that was going to happen. In fairness, that was because uh, he came literally two minutes ago and in and out, done. So, on that note, thank you very much for watching. Join me. On the next video, we're going to be getting the EV charger and the board change and that cooker circuit powered up. Make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on, leave your comments below as usual, and I will see you tomorrow.